Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video I'm going to talk about iOS 14.4.2 battery life and performance and also overall a few days later on my iPhone 10R so as you can see this is my iPhone 10R my primary device and I'm using this cover guys this is a matte black cover which I bought recently from Amazon and also it has this yellow accent which actually looks cool so if you want to purchase this product i will leave the link of this product in the video description below so definitely check that out so i use different cases and back covers for my iphone 10r so definitely i will leave all the links for this product in the description below so now let's talk about this iphone 10r ios 14.4.2 update and after few days the battery life and performance so let's get right into this video but before that if you're new here and happen to like what i do on my channel give this video a thumbs up and also if you're new here i would love to have you subscribe with that being said let's get right into the video <laughs> Alright guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings, let me go to the general and about. So as you can see, it is running on iOS 14.4.2 stable version and talking about the build number is 18D70. So this iOS 14.4.2 update came after iOS 14.4.1 update as a security patch from Apple. So this update was supposed to fix some of the security vulnerabilities that was found with WebKit, which is the underlying internet framework for Safari. So it is very important, I always tell you guys, if you haven't updated to the latest iOS, then do definitely update to the latest iOS. If it's a normal update, then it's fine. After a few days, if the battery life and the performance is not good, you may skip that update. But in this case, this is a security update. So definitely, definitely, it's very important for all of us to update your iPhone. So now let's talk about the battery life. So let me go to the settings and let me go to the battery section first. So let me go to this battery and as you can see let the graph load this is how the battery looks like i'll get into the details but before that as always let me go to the battery health section and as you can see so it's been more than two years i'm using this iphone 10r still it is supporting peak performance capability and i am getting a very good battery life as well so a few days back i've just recently made a video on battery health so in long term if you want to maintain a good battery health and also a good battery overall then you should watch that video i will leave that video in the video card so then again now let's talk about the battery life so as you can see last 24 hours graph and the screen on time is 6 hour 28 minutes so let me do one thing let me click on this last 10 days so as you can see the average screen on time i am getting 6 hour 28 minutes so I'm, these are all the applications that i have been using youtube YouTube, WhatsApp, phone, Facebook and studio things like that so as you can see so this is how the battery life looks like and as you can see the 6 hour 26 minutes is not a bad average screen on time because considering the fact that it's a two year old phone and also as you can see if I go day by day yesterday I used my phone at around more than 50 to 60 percent and for that I got a screen on time of 7 hour 43 minutes so for 60 percent I got a screen on time of 7 hour 43 minutes so overall I could say I would have gotten a screen on time if I had used my phone 100 percent at about eight to nine hours so that is actually good so i would say my battery life overall has been improved from ios 14.4.1 or ios 14.4 so if you have still skeptical about this update that how would be the battery life how would be the battery drain then i can assure you that the battery life is quite good as you can see on my screen this is how the things are looking like now also let me ask you this question how often do you use your phone and also if you guys are a gamer if you just you know talk long hours on your phone or if you just play pubg or if you play games on your phone then definitely there would be battery drain i know few guys who just play games on their phone and complain on the comment section that my battery drain is happening so no matter guys if you play games and do battery intensive tasks then of course you will be able to see the battery drain so that's not very a surprising thing for for any of us so then again so that's how the battery is performing and now let's talk about the overall performance so the overall performance has not been you know changed since a little while so since i use 14.4 that lag we used to see while we open any app and while we close the app so that lag has gone so now we don't get to see any lag while opening and closing it and also as i mentioned before that while we go to the widget section and while we try to edit any widget just like that 
and sometimes we get to see that kind of you know awkward lag that that is gone so that is long gone and also talking about the you know network reception last video i talked to you about the bad network reception so this ios 14.4.2 does not contain any modem update so i am sadly reporting that still that network reception issue persists and if any one of you are having the network reception issue let me know in the comment section below that if you are having that network reception issue so that's a big issue for me and apart from that it's pretty much stable guys so i am using this ios 14.4.2 on my iphone 10 as you can see and also now let's talk about the ios 14.5 release date so now guys talking about the beta cycle all of us were pretty sure that after ios 14.5 beta 5 there would be ios 14.5 rc that is release candidate but now a uh, few days back again apple has released beta 6 for ios 14.5 so as of recording this video today is 3rd april as you can see on my calendar so i'm sure that within next week we'll get to see ios 14.5 rc release candidate or the gm version of the update so if everything goes right then we might get to see ios 14.5 stable update by next week that is within 14th or 15th of april we might get to see that also we have a apple event coming on april and also let me know in the comment section how much excited you are for ios 15 and if you are watching this video let me know that which iphone you are using because on june 7th we have wwdc for this year coming up that is world wide developer conference on which we are supposed to see ios 15 beta 1 so i'm pretty much excited and we all know that iphone 10 are you going to get it so i'm pretty much excited for june so let me know in the comment section which iphone you are using and are you excited to use ios 15 on your device so then again this was a small video just an update how my iphone 10 are has been performing with ios 14.4.2 how has it been the battery life and the performance and just a few days update video on my channel so if you are still watching this video i hope you have enjoyed this video then do definitely give this video a like and also it means the world to me if you consider subscribing to the channel and with that being said i will see you on my next video bye